Hey you guys, so I'm back, and I'm still sick, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was um, in my last video that I did about my hair. So, basically, Thursday the 4th of April was my one year anniversary from my big chop, and I have my hair in a uh, afro, I guess, that way you could see initially how it, how it looked, um, and so this is it combed out. So I know I pretty gave like I pretty gave I gave a pretty quick um video about it and I didn't really tell you guys much about my process or whatever. Um I was really sick, but I was also really excited about it being my one year anniversary and I just kinda wanted to get it um out there uh in honor. So now I'm feeling a little bit better and well actually I'm feeling a lot better and I can actually um talk about it a little bit more. So, um, as I said before, April 4th of 2013 was my one year anniversary of my big chop. And this is how my hair looks. It's grown a lot. Um, I dyed the sides and the back. Um, so I didn't dye my whole entire head, but I dyed a good like, horseshoe type thing of my head. Um, products I use pretty much, I did a video before uh, about the, like, hair crack that I made that worked really, really well for my hair. This, I put it in a bigger tub, actually, and, um, you want to see what's in this, which contains all my probably favorite products, uh, you can find it here. So I started my journey um, really typical, you know, I was transitioning, I was a product junkie, I didn't know what worked really good for my hair, uh, I, people were telling me this would be good and then, you know, that isn't good, um, so I'm always stressing that everybody's hair texture is different, You're, I mean, you may see my hair on camera and be like, oh, your hair looks like mine, or the way I describe it, you may say, oh yeah, that sounds like mine, so I'm going to try all the products that you use. Um, and it's going to go either one of two ways. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. Um, your hair is your own. You have to figure out what's good for you. Um, it's really just remember that. You have to do what's what's best for you. So my biggest problem that I had when I was starting um, after my big chop of 2011 was the fact that I could not keep moisture in my hair to save my life. That was my biggest problem. Um, and I found ways to keep moisture within my hair, and now I have no problem with moisture. Um, what I did was I pretty much, like, slept with a shower cap on my head every night, um, because I would put product in my hair and I put the shower cap in to lock the moisture in and that really helped me. So I didn't necessarily deep condition all the time. Like I know in my video when I first said my hair, I told you guys, yeah, deep condition, especially if you're dyeing it honey blonde because it's more like bleaching your hair, deep condition, deep condition, deep condition. Um, I did a lot, but like leading up to that and you know, now even still, I would just put my little concoction here. I split my hair into four sections and I would put the concoction in it and do a twist. So I'd have four uh, twists in my head and then I'd put a shower cap on my hair and I'd go to sleep. And that has done wonders for me. And now my hair just keeps moisture, which I'm so thankful about. Um, in fact, Friday I washed my hair and after having it in a protective styling for, I want to say, three weeks. Um, I washed my hair, and all I did was put my Cantu leave-in conditioner, which I'm a huge fan of, which I heard so many people say they didn't like, but it works wonders for my hair. I just put this in my hair, and my hair, that was Friday, okay, and it is when, uh, Tuesday, and my hair is still really, like, moisturized. Um, my hair does produce natural oils quickly, though. So, I don't have a dry problem, I guess, 
now, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, when I was relaxed, my hair was never dry. It was just when I went natural, and I couldn't really figure out what the heck was going on with my hair, and I was still trying to figure it out. Um, but I really don't have a problem with dry hair. I never have up until, like, I want to say that six, seven months. Yeah, that was just... But now I don't have a problem with it. My hair is back to being as moisturized as it normally is. So... Um, some products that I swear by, I would have to say, is my concoction, you know, that contains Pantene Pro-V Daily Moisturizing Oil. It has the, um, Shea Moisture Smoothing stuff in it. It has extra virgin olive oil. It has, um, Jamaican black castor oil. Uh, and... I have a video on what I put in there. I don't remember verbatim, but I have a video. And actually what I added is this, which is a Softy Signature Thickening Growth Oil. And this worked for me really quickly. Like, I noticed a difference within a week, and I had to stop using it. Because I was like, this is this is psychotic. What's going on here? Soon I'm just going to be like, whoo, kind of a crazy lady. Um, so I would say that the first year of my journey was pretty much just trying to get moisture. I wasn't, um, I mean, everybody wants length, you know, of course, everyone can't wait to get your length back, especially when you cut off your hair and you're just like, oh, you want your, you want your length back. Um, but I found for me, it was more important just to focus on getting moisture back in my hair. Um, so that's great. Now I'm going on my second year. I'm starting my second year already. It's, five days into my second year at this point, and now with this year, what I want to focus on is my length, because my hair is healthy, it's moisturized, it's fine, um, so now I just want to focus on really my length so much. So this year, I'm trying to do that. I'm actually going to be doing a challenge. I've already actually started one challenge, which is the one year with no heat challenge, I actually started that back in September. The last time I had heat in my hair was the last week of September. It was literally a week before um, my six-month anniversary. So that was the last time I had heat on my hair. So the next time I'm technically allowed to have heat on my head would be September, last week of September of this year. But while I'm doing that challenge also, I want to focus on length, like I said. So I'm going to be doing a 60-day biotin challenge. And the reason why it's 60 days is because it has 60 capsules. And I'm going to actually be mixing that with the monostat challenge. So I want to see what kind of um, growth I can retain in 60 days. I'm just really interested in seeing if this is going to work or not. Um, I've heard reviews that it has worked wonders. I've heard reviews that it didn't work too well. I've heard there are side effects. So there's no saying that I'm even going to be able to complete a 60-day challenge of this thing because it might contain side effects. I don't know. Um, I'm going to just try it out. I pretty much just comb my hair and let it sit like this and took a picture of it. And now you guys are seeing it here on video. And as I continue doing videos, and as eventually my 60 days are up, we're going to see um, if there was so much of a difference. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I don't put heat on my hair. And 60 days, it's still not going to be one year since no heat. So it's easier to tell this way. Um, so I'm not just going to put Monistat in my head. No, like, I'm not just going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to... Because I saw a video where this girl was like, there are like one of two ways you can do this. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually mix the monostat with this Indian hemp and tamanu with mambo, manio, and garlic extract. It's a growth and strengthening treatment mask, breakage preventage, and strong hair stronger hair. This, I don't know. I saw it at Walgreens. It smells really, really good. Like, it smells really good. Oh my god. It reminds me of the summer when I was a kid in Brooklyn. I don't know why. 
but it does. That's what, it, when I smell it, it literally brings me back to that. So I'm going to mix the monostat with this, and I'm going to mix it with um, almond oil, a little bit of almond oil, and I'm actually going to put that into my Cantu um, Grow Strong Strengthener container, because this is empty. Like, it has just, like, these little scrapings of the product in there, but for the most part, it's empty. So I'm just going to mix the product in with this. And then also what I would like to do is take my um, leave-in conditioner hair repair cream, and I don't have a lot of this left, like, legit. And I've had this thing for so long. Like, I want to say I've had this for maybe two years now. Mm. Um, love the smell of it. I'm going to put some of that in here because it's getting warmer outside now. So I, I'm getting to the point where now I can start wearing wash and goes again because um, it was way too cold to do all that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that for 60 days and I'm going to come back at you guys with a review of if I liked it or not, if I saw any results. So, um, really quick, I want to say thank you to family, friends, and people that watch my videos that have been super supportive of me, um, doing this. It was hard. It is, because I'm, I'm a length girl. Like, I like to see length, and I like to see results, and I like to see all these things, and if I'm not seeing it at a quick enough pace, I start to get paranoid that I'm not seeing anything at all. So, um, thank you guys so much for, like, um, just really being there for me and really just keeping me going strong, um, it means a lot. So I'm really excited about this challenge and I'm going to start mixing up all these concoction on his and, um, yeah, that's my Spanish word, concoction on his. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to start mixing these products together, and I think while I'm doing this challenge, I'm not going to be using this, I think, for the six weeks. I don't think I'm going to use this. Um, I'm not really sure yet. I guess I'll just let you guys know. But thanks so much for watching, and if you guys want to do the challenge too, uh, let me know you're doing the challenge. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at ggbaby underscore swanky. I no longer have Twitter because I never tweet. But thank you, Jenna Marble, who when I did have Twitter, 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 when I did have Twitter, Jenna Marble actually used to follow me, so that was pretty cool. It was like, <laughs> Jenna Marble's following me. That's cool. I like Jenna Marble. But whatever. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye.